once you get it down packed easy simple it's nothing like once y'all get this y'all gonna be like ooh, let me find out then you really gonna start playing in makeup once you get this down so i'm gonna start off with foundation um so i don't put a lot of foundation here I barely put any foundation there because you're gonna put concealer there. And if you put foundation and concealer, it's gonna cake up and it's gonna look crazy. Okay, now it's time for concealer. You're gonna highlight the high points of your, your face. So you're gonna highlight the middle of your nose if you want to like highlight and contour that. You don't have to do that. I don't always do that. Uh, your chin on top of your lip right here now you're going to take a clean wet beauty blender real technique sponge any type of makeup sponge you're going to get it wet dampen it squeeze out all the water just blend 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 until your arm literally falls off When I want to take it up a notch, I get lighter concealers and layer that. And I alternate eyes because I want an equal amount of brightness. So I'm going to um, go back and forth. Yay, she looks good. She looks blended. She looks healthy. She's ready to give the girls what the girls need is. So I use two setting powders. Don't ask me why, you don't need to. But I like to mix these two together. So what I do is I take my setting powder, I mix the little concoction. I tap the sponge, so as you can see, it's powder flying off. I know y'all can see that, this is a good camera. Okay, I know y'all can see. And then with the remaining, cause you still don't need all that powder in your face. You're going to take a powder brush and brush all this stuff away. So. Now is the time where you would either contour or you would bronze your face. So I'm gonna bronze my face because I love bronzer. Once I discovered this, it was no turning back. So we're gonna buff that into the bronzer. And. I'm going to contour my nose with a bronzer, but it's a lighter color bronzer than the one that I used on my face. Take a little brush, a little eyeshadow brush. And boom, 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 boom. You see how I shook the, the powder, excess powder off? It's because I really don't want this to be dark. Nice and subtle. And you're just essentially painting on the outskirts of where that highlight was. So if the highlight was right here, you're making those two lines right here and I connect them to up here to make everything look seamless and blended. And blush is amazing. So they need to know. So blush is just so pretty, just. And it's just so subtle that people be like, I mean, I don't really know what it did. It did everything it needed to do. Don't worry about blush, cause she gonna do her job. Okay, you worry about where you gonna put her. I take some face powder, get it on that same powder brush and just make sure that everything is set. Take a brow pencil and get busy. So the 
eyebrows are filled in, now it's time to conceal them. When it comes to my eyes, I never want to do anything to my eyes, but I don't like to leave them looking like this. I don't like that. Use my bronzer or my blush or, yeah, that's it. My bronzer or my blush is what I usually put on my eyes if I don't have brown eyeshadow or if I don't feel like doing that today, you know? Okay, so I'm going to show you guys using the bronzer that I used earlier. But because it's bronzer and not eyeshadow, you really need to... Make sure you're picking up the product and pat it at first. Don't just start blending out of nowhere. Pat it on, cause that's gonna give you the color concentration that you need. So pat, pat, pat your bronzer on your lid. Pat, 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 pat that all over. And it's just something to put on your eyes, you know, so your eyes is not looking blank. So, what you also want to do is take a detail brush, a smudger brush, anything that's super small and take the same color or one of the colors, doesn't really matter, um, and put that on your lower lash line. And that's just going to marry the eyeshadow look that you did on the top to the bottom. Okay, so my lashes are on now. So I love a lot. I love to put highlighter in two places. For the side of my face, I don't really care to. But the two places I have to put highlighter is my nose. I don't know why, I just think it's so cute. And then I'll take another small brush. It don't really matter what it is. And I'll put the highlighter in here into the arch of your eyebrow and to me that just makes your eyebrows look more arched and fresher and neater than they actually are and you just blend that in nothing too crazy blend that in look at that Ooh. now after i did all this before i put on my lip I put on a setting spray that is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. It's the best. If I'm not really going anywhere special or I don't anticipate on wearing my makeup for too long, I just put on one. But if I know I'm gonna be outside, outside, that's when I put two or three or four. It don't matter. Cause I'm outside. Now it's time for lips. Like any black girl all black girls need to line their lips with a brown or otherwise dark liner girl come out the packaging like, if you don't want me to use you, say that. Okay. Oh, okay. It's like a peachy nudish on top, because this is a little brighter than what I was going for. Ooh. <laughs> But the combination of it, ooh. Yeah, that might have did something. Mm-hmm. Um. Mm, 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 mm. Hold up. Cause they might have just, you see that? Girl, they might have just did something, hold up. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Um, let me know if you try it. It's really easy. If you guys want any other looks or anything else in particular, let me know. But this is what I do when I wanna pop out but not do too much, but just enough. You know, that's what this is. So, bye guys. <laughs>